Hey, how's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man. So I got an email the other day from a girl called Sophie, where she wanted me to answer a question via email, but the question that she posed to me was actually so interesting that I thought, you know what, I actually want to discuss this in a video, kind of explore it in a video and share my thoughts about it with you guys. And the question she asked me was, to what extent does anime influence the US film industry? Or more simply put, how does anime influence Hollywood? Now I'm sure it's no surprise to anyone when I say that Hollywood is running out of ideas. Now, of course, you can bring up the point about the fact that almost every entertainment industry out there is running out of ideas since all the good ideas have already been taken. But since Hollywood or the US film industry is one of the biggest industries that is exposed to the most amount of people, it is more of a assumed or common knowledge that in fact Hollywood is running out of ideas. I mean, like Alvin and the Chipmunks, the road chip? Who the fuck asked for that? Now, while Hollywood has gone out to make some ideas from their own, it's really no surprise that they have in fact taken a lot of inspiration and influences from other types of entertainment medium. From remakes to prequels and sequels and reinterpretations, Hollywood have done all sorts of different things with different sources of entertainment. But one of the aspects that we're gonna look deeply into is the influence and inspiration that they have gained from the medium of entertainment of anime, as well as other Japanese literacy. Now before I move on, I want to clear this misconception that a lot of people have with Hollywood taking ideas from anime as being a recent thing, when in fact it is clearly not the case. You guys know the uh, world acclaimed Disney film The Lion King? Yeah, that's based off a 60s anime series called Kimba the White Lion. And I mean not influenced, but I mean like ripped off character from character, plot point from plot point. but. That's another subject for another day. What I want to get out of that is that Hollywood have looked towards anime and Japanese literacy and Japanese entertainment mediums for quite some time now. Especially with things like anime, they have tried to reinterpret it or recreate it in more than one way or another. Some of them have seen the light of day, unfortunately, while others haven't quite seen the light of day yet or never will thankfully. But it seems that especially recently, Hollywood have really looked out and sought out towards anime and other Japanese entertainment mediums. Of course, there is the rare exception of Hollywood taking inspiration or, I guess, ideas from an anime, or in this case, Japanese literature, and kind of reinterpreting it to make it more of a Hollywood original, which actually turned out decent, in my opinion. But the question we want to explore in this video is, why? We know that Hollywood is taking influence and inspirations from anime and Japanese entertainment mediums, but why are they doing so? Well, in my opinion, I think there are a few reasons as to why this is happening. First of all, it's no surprise that the anime database and the Japanese literacy database is huge, filled with so many different characters, so many different settings for movies, plots for movies, that Hollywood and other movie industries haven't even scratched the surface of yet. In other words, there's so much room for original ideas to be brought to life by the power of Hollywood. The second reason is that even Hollywood has kind of seen the stories and characters and tropes of the anime world and of Japanese literacy and has kind of, I guess, seen that it fits their standards. Now, you can argue about the point that, you know, Hollywood doesn't really have standards since a lot of their films, especially recently, are quite shit. But a lot of film directors and film creators from Hollywood have recognized that, in fact, the, a lot of anime and a lot of ideas for anime are new and unique and could have enough space to develop even further through Hollywood. The third reason may come from the fact that, next to Hollywood, the anime and manga and Japanese film industry, Japanese gaming industry is one of the biggest and has the most exposure after the Hollywood industry. I'm pretty sure 99% of people who watch anime, read manga, read Japanese literature and all of that other Japanese entertainment goodies and games and whatnot do also, in fact, watch Hollywood films. I think this is actually the reason why Hollywood haven't actually taken a lot of inspirations from Bollywood. Even though Bollywood spits out more movies and actually has higher production rates than Hollywood movies. The reason is because, I believe, a lot of people who watch Bollywood 
don't watch Hollywood and a lot of people who watch Hollywood don't in fact watch Bollywood so there isn't really a shared audience between Hollywood and Bollywood with anime manga and Japanese games on the other hand there is a shared audience between the two people who play Japanese games watch anime read manga also watch Hollywood films and vice versa. Especially with the rapid growth of the anime industry in the recent years, I think this is why the recent surge of remakes and reinterpretations of anime and manga have increased because the huge growth of the international population of the otaku culture has also increased. And the fourth reason may simply come from the fact that a lot of big titles and big names in Hollywood have had roots of inspirations from anime. The creators of the movie Matrix were heavily influenced by the anime Ghost in the Shell. And while the claimed director Quentin Tarantino is a huge anime fan. So again, there is just that simple connection of shared audiences between the anime and manga industry and the Hollywood US film industry. Now with the current trend in Hollywood as of right now, we can see that there is going to be in fact a lot more movies based off Japanese literacy, anime, manga, Japanese games, you name it, since, as I stated before, the otaku culture, or I guess the Japanese entertainment industry, is actually growing rapidly in an international standpoint, which naturally catches the eye of other big industries that want to use their ideas to make a profit of their own. But unfortunately, it is, I guess, common knowledge that a lot of those live-action anime remakes done by Hollywood are, in fact, pretty shit. There are of course a plethora of reasons why a lot of live action movies do in fact suck. In fact I made a video about it called why most live action anime movies suck. You can check out this annotation or the links in the description. By the way, this isn't in fact limited to just Hollywood. In fact, Japan has made a few live action anime movies which are also pretty fucking horrible. I'm looking at you, Attack on Titan. So knowing that most live-action anime movies as of now, regardless of whether they're made by Hollywood or whether they're made by uh, Japan, are uh, generally considered shit, we need to ask this question. Will Japan and or Hollywood ever get better at making live-action anime films? In other words, in the near future, will we actually see the majority of live-action anime films being decent or even good? My answer to that is... Probably not. Unfortunately, the problem here is not so much the limitations of technology, such as, you know, how good or bad CGI is, or the limitations of resources, like how good or bad the actors and the setting is, but it's more a limitation of the medium itself. I describe this again in my Why Most Live Action Anime Movies Suck, but pretty much the limitations here is that most stories made in anime and manga are not surprisingly, made for anime and manga. In other words, it contains a story, settings, and characters that are built for that entertainment. They are built for anime and manga and not for anything else. That's why live-action anime films like Parasite and Attack on Titan did really, really shit and were terrible live-action films because the characters, settings, and plot aren't built for live action. They're built for anime and manga. Sure, you can then argue that, you know, things like high school romance anime or slice of life comedy anime aren't so far-fetched as much, but what is the reason why we don't see those kinds of anime turn into a live action? Now, you may be thinking that the reason why we haven't seen a Toradora live action or a Lucky Star live action is due to the fact that both those series aren't as popular as those movies that have been turned into live action, such as Parasite or Attack on Titan. But I can pretty much tell you right now, even if series like Toradora and Lucky Star were just as popular, if not more popular, than Attack on Titan and Parasite, they still wouldn't be turned into live action adaptations. To someone who has never seen the Toradora anime series, if they see a Toradora live action movie with real actors, What's to tell them that this was based off an anime? It will literally be like every other chick flick out there. There'll be no difference between a regular chick flick and a Toradora live action anime. The reason why such series like Attack on Titan and Parasite are turned into live action is because the influences in the characters and the influences in the setting scream anime because these are concepts and characters that were built 
around the medium of anime. That's the reason why I don't think live action anime films are going to get better anytime soon. Unless there is a movie that can prove me otherwise. Of course, that's not to say that all live action anime adaptations are crap. In fact, live action anime films such as Dunoni Kenshin and Gantz were in fact pretty decent. But unfortunately, Hollywood hasn't quite redeemed themselves in that aspect. Now, another reason why most live action anime adaptations do have a terrible reputation is the fact that most of them are built around quite a low budget for their setting and character. But the question is, why? Why do so many live-action anime films have a low budget to work on? Comparatively looking at it with such industries as the anime industry or the gaming industry, the Hollywood X anime industry doesn't have such a large audience. Sure, you may be a fan of anime as well as Hollywood films and the US film industry, but how many people out there have said to themselves, man, I wish Hollywood would make a live action Dragon Ball Z movie one day. Man, how cool would it be if Hollywood made a Attack on Titan live action movie? Man, I am looking forward to the day that Hollywood makes a bobble 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 live action movie. We watch these films when they come out, but to be honest, nobody asks for them. Before knowing that Dragon Ball Evolution was one of the worst films ever made, a lot of people were really excited for it when they announced it. Like, whoa, there's a live action Dragon Ball Z movie. Hell yeah, but nobody actually went out of their way to wish this movie existed. Regardless of how good or bad the movie was, there is a really, really small percentage of an audience that actually wishes this was a thing. I mean, they see it and they're like, oh cool, it's out. But they, you know, they haven't been hyping it or they haven't wished that Hollywood would make it. As an avid anime critic and an avid movie watcher just in general, it's gonna be really interesting to see how Hollywood and even the Japanese film industry start to develop and evolve these live action movies based off of anime or are recreations of anime and other Japanese entertainment mediums. It's gonna be interesting to see how film creators and film directors are going to cross this rather large uncanny gap between the anime and manga industry and the live action anime industry. Guys, let me know in the comments below, do you think there will ever be a very, very successful live action anime movie? And if there is, then what anime would it be based on? How would they have to make it? And do you think there are any other ways that the Hollywood and other film industries can make live action anime movies better. Also let me know what your favorite live action anime movie was and why also in the comments below. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. As always, like and favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more anime banner and I'll see you guys next video of whatever I make. Keep watching anime. Ciao!